I'm about to do Namyo. It's Friday, March 16th, 12, 11 a.m. in the morning. Leanne left. My daughter, I guess she went to sleep, but maybe not. She's not super happy today, and that makes me sad because that's pretty much every day for her. And I guess it's the age. I was very angry when I was 18, 19, 20, 21. And, uh, was always that uh, healer for other people and a hairdresser and a bartender as I got older and you, you like psychiatrists you know and I'm really good at it but being an empath means you feel everything that's making them sad and then it makes you sad and sick and I remember my sister that I lived with after my mom died I had this one girlfriend loved her Denise always crying always broke never had any money her mother was not right should have never been a mother and Denise, they used to say people like that were slow. She had some sort of learning disability, and she was, but she was a good person. Then the mom would just be with any man as long as she had a man. She was with this man, Frank, and Frank used to get drunk and hit on me, and I don't know what the hell he did to Denise. It wasn't good. Her girl was always crying. You know, somebody does that to you, and your mother allows it. You, your soul gets broken. And um, so I guess if I, hanging out with her, it felt like part of me was broken, too. And um, my sister, who's not really, I have one sister that's totally into all this and can foresee things. And she's my mother. She's cut my mother. My other sister, not so much. She saw a video and told me to get an exterminator. <laughs> she's 74. And then my sister that's like my mother just said, call a priest. And I did, and that was done. But... Um, you got to be able to, uh, my sister said to me anyway, the one who is not into all this stuff, um, you need to stop hanging out with that girl. This is how Italians are. I've been in the 80s. And every time you, you see her, she's crying, and then you're sick, and then you're crying, and you can't get out of bed, and she, you feel down. And I was the first time my sister made, so that sister made an conversation. What actually she was saying was, everybody that's like sad and needs help and needs to not be broken comes to you, and then right after they're all done with you, you're sick. So that's been happening. That's who I am for a really long time. So at this age, finally, um, like I said, only five people or so. I'm sure I'm exaggerating. My family, my best friends from Long Island and Illinois, of course, they're allowed there. You know, a select few. And uh, Leanne, of course. And kid down the hall, guy across the hall, my Buddhist friends, uh, that I, I chant to meditate with. And of course, management, they have to come in here. They don't really have a choice because they do inspections and stuff like that. I guess my kid's awake. Please don't come into that room naked. Um, I'm about to sit down. I did a quick Namio early today when they went out to the store. But And then I took all my stuff to go to bed with, all my, uh, not my Gahansen, but my prayer beads, my books, so, and just passed out sitting up with my glasses on, but that was at 8 o'clock this morning, and then my kid thought it was very important for me to be awake at 10. My kid's 20 years old. She sat on the couch and watched me waiting, taking pictures of me and the cat. I rolled over and said, Pippi, I had two hours sleep. Yeah, I know, that's okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Man, you've got to be some kind of patient person, let me tell you. Now I get my mother in a whole new way. I'm just checking out the activity. To me, this picture looks a little bit grainy. And, you know, well, that doesn't look grainy at all. And because we've had such active uh, hallway and bathroom sessions of, of recent recordings, I thought, why not come back here real quick? And then I'm going to pray and chant and do all that. Oh, that looked like a fishy thing going by um, with the white light. Just when I was switching the light over. I want to see if there's anything now and if there's a difference after. I'd like to see if the energy changes after prayer and chant and, and sage and, you know, all that. Meditation, writing things down. i just like to see the before and after. My ears were ringing way louder earlier today. Having said that, they're still really loud. And here's the mirror, and it's clean. Do I want to do the shaky clothes thing? I do this every time. I know I must look like an idiot. I have to. But look what happens every time. See that? They say a couple of butterflies, a few of them. Nothing happens till I do that, though. See? Wait till the new moon. Now, you just saw a minute ago, there was nothing. 
I had nothing over there. I didn't shake anything on there. There are two. Not as much that was on the right side, but that's what it looks like with nothing. There's no dust. Of, uh, yeah, I clean obsessively. Yeah, there's always dust here, but that's not dust. Let's see if I shake this up. What happens there? Not very much. Maybe because I'm right-handed. Mm. Not so much. Let's see the front. <laughs> yep. Let's see if we can see them in the mirror. That's the other thing. I like to experiment. I can see a flash behind. Let's move this. Okay. Let's see if... Put that over here. Just put everything in. There's little rhinestones in that. They sparkle. Um, oh, if I don't have the flash... Oh, can't see nothing. Okay. If I do this and give myself some mirror... I want to see them in the mirror. I can't with my naked eye. Well, sometimes I can. I take that back. I could see them past this thing right here. Sometimes I see them with my naked eye in colors or bubbles. Now I see them in the mirror. So a few clear round ones. See how they don't know where they're going. Do I want to go? Do I want to come? And they go ch -ch -ch a while, and then they boomerang back to me like carrier pigeons. No, oh, I must have left one in there. Sorry, guys. Yesterday the neon was beautiful. Neon green and neon blue. And they fly like birds, and we have fallen feathers. We have, like, fire phoenix orbs, gold, pure white, pink, the most beautiful pink you've ever seen, purple energy balls that look like a bird, 6 minutes, 57 seconds. And the new moon is on Saturday, and when we have a new moon and a full moon, really weird shit happens. Like, um, blips, but like, big, shapely, and they're always green. So, um, Saturday... I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Um, I've seen it with my naked eye just real quick because in slow-mo, you, you, you can't catch them. It's ridiculous. And then you finally catch them and the picture doesn't show up. It doesn't come. Um, and I don't want to see them full on with my eyes. I really don't. Because it's kind of it's astounding and frightening and shocking all at the same time and wonderful. But if I saw a big old square box rectangle jellyfish glowing green thing over my head three feet long or a three foot butterfly glowing blue i don't know i might like the butterfly other stuff might just make me trip i just don't know you know what's going to happen you can't say oh i do this or that because it hasn't happened yet but i could have sworn i saw somebody walking down the hall and i'm so not ready for that let me tell you and then yesterday all day i felt like someone was here yeah like someone was right here and I could feel someone right here. And all I can get is an outline. But I do have videos of butterflies flying to me and sitting on my shoulder. So maybe it was the butterfly. And on that note, it is time for prayer and chant. And gratitude and love and intentions and all that good stuff. And to tell God how grateful I am for yet another day. Even if it was two hours of interrupted sleep, you know. I'd say if, I, if I didn't have to sleep, I'd never sleep. Too much shit to get done. I would never, ever sleep. I guess when we're in 5D, we won't have to worry about that, right? Okay, be love, be light, be kind. You never know whose lives you're going to change. And I promise you, you will. So, and don't ever expect anything in return. Another big thing. And never tell anybody, oh, I remember I did this for you, you owe me. Wrong. Don't ever do that. You definitely lose what you thought was a friend. They're not your friend after that, let me tell you. Peace, love, and light.